So you know what happened? I got an email in my college email that says Google is now looking for internships in my college. Summer internship program is about to start and uh, all of the people have filled the application form and I'm just sitting here thinking what have I done with my career? And so this is sort of the video in which I want to talk about the dilemma that I am in, right? When I am surrounded by people like Harish and I'm surrounded by people like Mehul, both of them are running some great startups, they got funded, they're doing pretty well. I get to think about this idea of should I want to do a job or do I want to build this YouTube channel or do I want to try to build market up? What is it that I want to do? And so that's what I want to talk about in today's video. If people who are watching who don't really know who I am or what I do. Hi everyone, I am Ishan Sharma. I am currently in my third year of college, which will be starting soon. And I have been building this YouTube channel from the last 1.5 years. I have also been working on a content creation agency called as MarketUp. And that is sort of what has happened in the last one or two years. Now, you know what happens? I have sort of burnt all my bridges. Okay, what that means is that I said no to my internships in college. Okay, there is something called as PS practice school that happens in my college which planning Goa campus. And over there, I was supposed to go work at some company that they will arrange for me for about one two, three months. And uh, I said no to that. Okay. So in the last two to three months, all of my batchmates were doing internships over there. Of course, this was a pay to get internship, but that is completely fine. I've covered that in a previous video, but more importantly, they are on their path to getting more internships in uh, my college. Whereas if you look at me, I am just saying no to all of these opportunities and I'm just trying to build my own YouTube channel. And this begs the question, what do I want to do when I get out of college? Okay. I have exactly two years left right now, right? Um, by the time July 2023, I will be graduating from my college. And so I'll have to decide what should I be doing? Should I be focusing on my YouTube? Should I do my market up the, this agency that I'm trying to build? Or should I be focusing on getting some job trying to prepare for, uh, you know, coding interviews? What exactly should I do? And I've tried to make sure that I have a couple of options open. First of all, if all of you are thinking that I'll be doing YouTube full time, that is so not the case. The problem with YouTube is that it fluctuates a lot, right? The problem is this month I got 1.8 million views on this channel. The last month I got 2.4 million views on this channel. And that's a huge difference. Uh, if you look at the revenue, if you look at other things. And so this is great. What I am building on YouTube is great. But if I make it the main source of my income and my living, you are being forced to put out a certain kind of video. You are forced to get to that number, you know, like 2.4 million views. Next time you'll be thinking, how can I increase it? How can I get, you know, maybe like 3 million views or 4 million views? How can I get to that level? And so I don't want to be in that pressurized state of mind in which I'm just thinking, okay, how can I grow this? How can I grow this? It's great to think about some video ideas that will be watched by a lot of people, but making that the main source of my living is not a good way, right? Because YouTube is more about putting out your creative output. And if I bring in this living aspect of it, it's not going to work out too well, at least in the long term. Also, I have been watching a lot of interviews of these big YouTubers or these big influencers, and they have been constantly saying that there's always a peak that you have, right? So you, when you are in this field of creating content, you will hit a peak and then you will sort of plateau or you will sort of try to get down like the in terms of engagement or in terms of the outreach that you have through these social channels, you will get to a point and then it will sort of plateau or it will also reduce it will, it will go down by some amount unless you are reinventing yourself, right? Unless you're like PewDiePie or something, you really need to think about how can you learn other things? How can you build other side businesses? How can you utilize whatever opportunities you are getting from YouTube to build a long lasting career, right? And so for me, that has been market up market up is a content creation agency that I'm trying to work on in the last, you know, one, I would say six months, it's been like four to six months. And so, so far, we have had about seven clients that we have worked with, we're currently working with three to four of them. And 
the best part that i think is that i get to decide what i want to do in this particular business and there is no one bossing me around saying this is what you have to do this is what you have to do it is just two people me and my co-founder saranj and we are trying to build a content creation agency that helps people with their youtube channel that helps businesses with their social presence okay but the problem with this is that the moat is not strong enough you know you understand what moat is moat is basically like this business advantage that you have like google for example like apple for example they have competitive moats because of which they'll be running for years and years on end right so like like facebook for example they have the whole network effects you cannot you cannot say no to instagram right now because that is the whole that is the place for social presence if you want to be around people you have to be on these platforms so i have to create such business modes competitive edges and so the more i think about it i realize that this business of being an agency is great and it can work out for a lot of people but it is just not the thing that will make you the monopoly or this is just not the thing that will get you to that crazy annual recurring rate or that crazy valuation level or something if i want to build like a big business that i feel can have an impact on you know a million people like tens of millions of people i'll have to think about some ways in which i can scale this and the problem with my business is that it is a lot more human intensive okay what do i mean by that is a lot of the times i will have to have more people if i'm having more and more clients okay but that is definitely not the case when you have like a like a simple startup that runs on code that runs on a website that tries to sell something that can be replicated without like a huge cost of replication but anyways uh, that is just what we are thinking it's not that we are doing bad or, or anything in fact we like a seven figure business right now market up we just onboarded another client 2 to 3 days ago but that is sort of how things are uh, i have also been looking around what my other peers are doing my my batchmates and they are doing pretty well some of them are getting internships in like google they're trying to work at some good companies they're trying to go into research they're trying to build their portfolio up while i am just trying to focus on my own thing right and uh, it is something that you if you were in my place you'll definitely be like ye log kya kar rahe hain main kya kar raha hu main aisa kyun kar raha hu is it sort of different from what the herd is doing from what most people are doing but then i've also been looking at what gary vaynerchuk says and he says that this time like 20 to 28 is the time when you go all in do something that makes you happy and that makes you proud and so that's what the whole idea has been about i have been trying to build these things because i genuinely enjoy i genuinely enjoy creating content youtube and things of that nature so that's sort of what i have been trying to build uh the problem that people might think is stability and our stability kahan se aayegi as i just said youtube is just not a good place to have like my whole living depended on that the problem is that when you think about stability at this age it doesn't make much sense like what do you do with you know you get like 1 lakh per month job what do you do to spend that money you try to buy things and then it becomes like a status game right like when alsha says uh, okay you'll have like a 1 lakh per month job you try to live in a nice apartment then you try to save up for a car then you try to save up for some other luxury item and then it just becomes like this uh, game of okay I have this money and I now need to spend it and that is what stability looks like to every single Indian parents and that is just not how I want to live right I have a I have a decent house in which I can live with my parents and I don't have anything to spend on the only thing that I will spend is when I'm investing into some you know mutual fund or some company or or crypto for that matter and so that is what i've thought let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this i am definitely in a dilemma what should i exactly be doing should i just be focusing on my own thing should i try to prepare for you know software engineering interviews or some other type of job i have been coding for every single day i do teach coding to students on an academy but that is basically what i've done right i make sure that okay i am learning about programming every single day so if i if at any moment if i have to change it's going to be a lot easier for me because i've just been exposing myself to programming every single day 
but that's it guys i hope that this was uh th th this was insightful to you too let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this this was just a huge you know like a rant on what i want to do where i want to go stability is not something that i'm looking for it's more that thrill that i get and that impact that i'm able to create in the future i'll be coming up with some really interesting videos on this channel so make sure that you stay tuned share this video with your friends who are thinking about quitting their you know placements quitting their college or thinking of starting their own thing i am at a point at which i can afford to say these things okay but in case if you are starting out from scratch you should definitely not be thinking about quitting your placements or something thank you for watching make sure that you follow me on instagram i'll be sharing a lot of other insightful things on twitter i have been coming up with some really interesting threads some really in interesting insights from whatever podcast i listen to so you can check that out as well that's it i'll see you again bye bye